Hey y'all, it's Lindsay with the Fiber Seed and it's Whip Wednesday where I share what I'm working on. So let's get started because there are some things. Um, first up, I'm wearing my My Boy Lollipop. Um, it's a sweater designed by Nancy Ricci. I follow the sweater instructions for everything. So the sleeves are what it's called for in the pattern. If you saw me wearing my I'm a Love Machine sweater that's over there that you can't see. Last time it had longer sleeves. I just added a little bit more to the sleeves. Um, this is Unicorn Tears. And Sprout UK. So that's what I'm wearing because I forgot to say that last time. Um, what have I been doing? Making swatches. So it's that week of the month that we bring out the next two inspired by collection colorways. And this month is Handsome Like a Flamingo, which comes from the Mixed Up Chameleon. So this is a part of the book where the chameleon is dreaming up what else he could be other than himself. And he's got um, flamingo legs and he has turned himself like a creamy color, but he's got all this mixture of like gray and blues in there. So that's what this one is. And this is what it looks like knit up. So if you have not been following, why is it on a needle and it's block and still connected to the ball of yarn? Because I'm gonna make blankets for my kids, but I don't wanna cut the yarn and then have like bits I could have used in their little pieces of their blankets. So that's why I did that. Um, the other color is Rhino 3 O'Clock. So this one comes from the Grouchy Ladybug. And this is actually a background for the 3 O'Clock time slot when the um, Ladybug's about to rumble with a Rhino. And I just thought it was so neat because of the way that Eric Carle applied the colors and mixed them up. And you don't really see them like so very often. So I did that. And then this is the swatch for this one. So love it. it could be a very fun spring um, top or socks whatever you want to make them um, also we are going to Carolina Fiber Fest this Friday Saturday and um, I made some new half speckles to bring with me so this is Mercat Magic it was inspired by one of Penelope's favorite TV shows where um, Gabby wears ears and makes her go into her, her little magic dollhouse where there's cats themed everything. So this is more cat magic. And it's got litmus and clear water and then these fun speckles on it. And then if you like antique flowers, which is a besprinkle that we have, it's a fun like, you know, great for top. It's got the background speckles. But you wanted to try pooling with it, I've got you covered because here is a half speckle of it. So it's fun. It's like rustic colors and it's dipped with cameo. So that's the dyeing stuff I've been doing. Um, knitting stuff I've been doing. I got further on my ribbon candy hat by Whitney Terrell. I'm using Sprout GK. It does call for four colors. I'm using two, so it's working out with how the um, color work pattern chart works. Um, I'm alternating smoke and um, heartthrob. So I've gotten through the ribbon candy portion. And I like that I'm using that variegated multicolor on here because it's also giving that added interest to the um, color work. And I'm going to be getting into the portion where it's like an intermittent one, not intermittent, it's a patterned, but it's one speckle of that color in the background of the smoke. So I'm excited about that. Um, if you're new to color work, you don't want to try a sweater yet, but you want to try something, um, this, I recommend this pat, something, a hat pattern like this because for this one, the stitches are t too far apart that you don't have to worry about necessarily tucking your yarns and your tension. You can just focus on your tension and not really have to worry about the other part. And that way you can focus on even tension and um, not puckering or anything like that. So that's what I've been working on. Um, I am so excited to see y'all at Carolina Fiber Fest this weekend in um, Raleigh, North Carolina. So. Until next time, though, happy crafting.